Hey, welcome to the Gates of Hell. Today, we're going to talk about Ghost Rider number one by Ed Brisson and Aaron Cooter. Today on Comic Book News. Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time joining us, thanks. Consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe that little bell for notifications about new videos. Today we talk about Ghost Rider, number one. You know, Ghost Rider's been around for a really long time. It's always been a book that sort of lived and died on its visuals. Characterization, not really ne necessarily the most important part of Ghost Rider. It's really all about, uh, you know, really super cool visuals. So it's really great that they got this guy, Aaron Cooter, uh, the artist. As you'll see, he's a little bit um, derivative of Art Adams. But man, if you're going to steal, you steal from the best, right? So, you know what? Let's not talk about it. Let's go straight into the Million Dollar Comics camp. So, Ghost Rider, number one. Um, nice looking cover. Starts out strong. Cool visuals. We're, we're sort of in the depths of hell. Staging a jailbreak from hell via sacrifice. And we get to learn uh, about the king of hell... Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider. Or is it? You know, because it opens up with... We can't really tell which Ghost Rider this is, or I can't tell, just based on the costume. They're so similar. And they say, oh no, it's Johnny Blaze. Run. And he says, Johnny Blaze is the other guy. Today you get the Ghost Rider. And maybe that just sounds cool to say, but like, I, it really confused me. I'm like, does that mean it's Danny Catch? No, it's Johnny Blaze in his Ghost Rider form as King of Hell, and we can sort of see this sort of like crown of flames on top of him. The other thing that we'll see is these really, really cool hellish minion designs. I, I, I just want to call special attention here to this dude with the bird head and the insecty feet and the mount and the and the and the uh, pistols. Really cool looking stuff. Cooter's great when he's drawing monsters and creatures and you know denizens of hell uh that's his forte that's clearly what he loves to draw he draws a great ghost rider the stuff is dynamic and fun to look at the design's really cool he's drawing old-fashioned machine guns with monsters what's not to love about that right so visually it was looking great i was really enthusiastic we got to this page and one i'm not sure why johnny blaze is barefoot it's not really explained or, or gone into but what we're seeing here is Johnny has come from hell to track down the demons who escaped in the last couple of pages. Okay, that's our setup. Some this artwork is nice. Something there's something not quite right about the perspective in this picture. Maybe it's the way this rack is and the angle we're at. Like for the background is different than the angle we're at. There's something is off. Anyway, I don't want to quibble too much for that. That's not too bad. It's a kind of a neat looking picture. Okay, double page spread for the logo. Nice use of pages. But it's it's these next two pages where I start to get a little bit more worried. It's these pages where there's nothing supernatural. It's just city scenes. Pretty weak. Not much background detail. Anatomy, not great. Angles, not perfect. What's going on with these feet? What's going on here? The action is not clear. Okay, then we cut to Brooklyn, which we know because it says Brooklyn, and Danny Ketch, who's getting beat up, I guess, but he likes to beat up people, so he's kind of controlling this. He's a bartender, he's the drunken bartender, but he owns the bar, it turns out. Okay, we've set up some characterization for Hipster, Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider. Uh, not too much characterization outside of then, you know, he's a hothead, he's a drinker, he's a scrapper. Okay, I guess that's good enough. And also, of course, he's possessed by the spirit of vengeance. So not soon after getting into this fight and being all beat up, he feels the calling, right, of Ghost Rider. And this is where the visuals crank back up to high again, right? And well, look at this awesome creature. Super cool, super creepy looking, great visuals, um, cool coloring. You know, it's a really neat looking book. Uh, 
in these parts. Like, look, this double page spread here, the center fold of the book is really beautiful. The coloring effects in the background look neat. This creature's really cool. The stuff with the chains is neat and the sort of like skidding on the... It's neat, right? Okay, if you're going to have Ghost Rider, it's got to look cool and this looks cool. And like I said, anytime, you know, there's creatures to be had, it's looking neat. Including like this stuff like the... Um, this is Lilith, I guess, an old like vampire character, I think, from Doctor Strange or some old book. Not explained who it is except to drop her name like we're supposed to know. Not great writing. But demon chicks on sc scooters I i'm pretty sure this are there's like a robert williams painting that's not too far away from this that's kind of probably in, maybe inspired this but anyway sc demon scooter chicks ghost rider on his motorcycle hell chopper cool idea visuals that that that, that are neat and go together I'll, I'll buy it but again as soon as we get back to reality man this stuff is weak um not great anatomy, not great perspective, not terrific stuff. More characterization setting up, you know, Johnny doesn't really approve. Danny's like, he, he's sick of caring. He's just, you know, the Ghost Rider's going to take him over and so, and, and take him over anyway. He doesn't have any choice in it, so why should he care? He's just going to let that happen. And Johnny Blaze is like, ah, you got to start caring, pal. Okay. Um, next page we get a, ooh, we get a glimpse at our old pal Mephisto, um, who you'd have to really know who that, this is because it's really not told to you. Um, he's talking to Wong. Apparently he's kept, he's, he's been imprisoned. He was the previous king of hell, I guess, and maybe now he's been deposed and he's being held in this hotel inferno. I don't know because they don't tell you. This is annoying. Right? This is like, I need a little bit more. Um, anyway, we move into the next page that's sort of like, I think they're trying to do something interesting formally here that doesn't work too well. Like this half of the page <clears throat> is following like Johnny Blaze and this half is following Danny Ketch. But it's not clear how you're supposed to know that. Are you supposed to read it like that? Are you supposed to read it like that? Does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we're just cutting back and forth between the two scenes. Okay. Danny Ketch is visiting his mother's grave. And the hipster guy gets punched in the face by Johnny Blaze. Sorry, Danny Ketch is visiting his mother. And then apparently she shows up. Her deadness shows up somehow. Can't tell. Did he walk behind her in front of her? Did she come out of the grave? We don't know. Not enough room to really set the scene and tell us how it worked, but I guess she just sort of walked up to him and started talking smack about Johnny Blaze, saying like, look, Johnny's been corrupt corrupted by hell. And meanwhile, we're watching, I guess, evidence of that as Johnny tracks down this, this demon who's been in hiding in human form. And the demon's like, look, man, you've just been torturing us. It's very hellish in hell, I guess. Not so fun. I, I gotta get out of there and Johnny Blaze is not having any of it he's he's ripping the guy to shreds with his powers he's going crazy he's got demon bone horns going on bone crown going and he's like I'm the king of hell and I ain't gonna give it up give up the crown without a hell of a fight okay cool visuals we get a teaser for the next issue Ghost Rider versus Ghost Rider I guess that was inevitable um Next, we've got a little uh, text piece I'll come right back to. And then we've got a little backup story here that I don't know why it's in the back or why it's a separate story. It's a character I don't know who it is. They don't tell me her name. We don't know anything. She's searching. Uh, she finds a magic book. She was a caretaker. Her grandfather was a caretaker or something. She reads this. She finds this book. She opens it up. And she sees crazy things that are going to be coming up in Ghost Rider. I guess she opened like a book of previews for Marvel previews or something. I, I, I don't know. Cool stuff that we're seeing here. You know, here's those demon um, scooter chicks again. And some other cool looking visuals. I, you know, Mephisto. Okay. Not sure why this was set, separated as a backup story. Anyway, back to the to the text piece here. This was kind of interesting because 
Marvel Universe, right? But it's not just heaven and hell. It's not just hell. There's a lot of hell. So hell is other places. This talks about all the different sort of hellish type dimensions or places in the Marvel Universe. So we've got hell, which is where this story is taking place. We got limbo, like like uh, magic from the X Men went to. We got Niflheim. That's like the uh, the Norse Thor version of hell. We've got the eighth city, uh, which uh, I think that came. This is referencing like um, uh, uh, Iron Fist, the below place, which I think is coming from the current Hulk stuff. Sominous. I don't even know what that is. The Dark Dimension, uh, which is where like Dormammu, I think, is from. And then there's Hades. And then there's the Brimstone Dimension, which was like from the X-Men. So there's lots of hells, right? There's many shades of hell in the Marvel Universe. Uh, and I don't know why we needed all this. It does fill up two extra pages. It does make this feel like a little bit better of a deal, I guess, for four ninety nine. Not too much. This felt feels more like a regular three ninety nine comics, kind of what it should be. Wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. I'm gonna give the artwork. You know, I would have given it an A if it had, could stayed at the same level of quality that we saw in those monster scenes and those Ghost Rider scenes, but it just didn't. Okay. The mark of quality of a great artist is one that takes care in every single panel. No panel is less important and receives less care than the next. This guy, you know, sure ripped off Art Adams a lot or was influenced by Art Adams, let's say. But maybe he should also be influenced by Art Adams' attention to detail. Because I don't think I've ever seen a sloppy panel uh, from Art Adams. Certainly not as sloppy as some of the stuff that we've seen here. The writing um, takes a lot for granted. It assumes that we know a lot of the recent history of Ghost Rider when I just don't. You have all these text backup pieces. Could you not have given us a little bit more of a recap piece to explain what's going on? The answer is yes, you could have, but you didn't. So I, I can't give this book too much more than a C+. I'm going to look at the number two when it comes out. And if it's got a great cover and some cool looking monsters and neat looking stuff on the inside, then I'll probably pick it up. If not, I might give it a pass. You guys are going to have to, you know, in this day and age, you got to, the, the, the storytelling bar has been raised really high in comics. And um, you got to be hitting on all cylinders. You got to be firing on all cylinders in order to keep up with the, the great works of comics that are coming out today. Ghost Rider, not quite doing it for me, but man, I've read a lot worse. So, um, you know, speaking of reading bad stuff, Man, I read tons of it. I read a lot of comics. Not all of them are gems. So I read the bad stuff so I can review it and separate the wheat from the chaff, as it were, and give you guys the info you need to maximize your comic spending dollar and, and time, right? Because even if you had unlimited money, you wouldn't have enough time. There's not enough time in the world to read every comic that's being produced these days. So, hey, thank you for taking a little bit of time, though, to watch this video. All of your support has been uh, not unnoticed as we're moving up in the ranks and the algorithms of YouTube. So please uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the little bell for notifications. Uh, add your thoughts about this channel, about this comic, and about anything else that we do here. Uh, in the comments below, we want to hear from you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.